Well, we knew it was going to be a tight ball game. We knew it was going to come down to a one-score game. Uh, it was exactly what we talked about with our players. Uh, you know, should have had an opportunity at 129 to go to have an opportunity to go win the game, and didn't 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 uh, didn't ha happen that way. But no one play lost us the game. Uh, we had our opportunities. I thought offensively, we came out and really strong with the first drive, and really got bogged down with some some issues early down, negative plays, and then and then some field position issues there in the first half. Defensively, in the first half, I thought we did a nice job. We and they hit the one ball on Jamie, which we had great coverage. It was a heck of a throw and a catch. Uh, we had double edge pressure on the flea flicker, uh, and we, we lost the, the flat player rushed instead of staying in the flat, and they were able to dump the ball off as we're sacking the quarterback. It was a nice play on his part. Um, you know, but we're sitting there at half and feel pretty good defensively about where we are, and I thought offensively we came out really played well in the second half, played well enough for us to, to win the game. We got tempoed in the third quarter on the first drive and didn't get aligned. Uh, and, and just didn't didn't fit the runs as well as we had in the first half. The same runs that we saw in the first half, we didn't we didn't fit them well. And uh, we got we got to do a better job of that. Uh, they tempoed us a little bit, hit the deep ball on us there. They hit the the, the throwback uh, in a pressure situation. We had we lost our eyes in the secondary. Uh, so uh, again, we, we we put ourselves in a position to win the game, and uh, we didn't get it done. Uh, give them credit. And I told our team when we started this conference schedule. Uh, we're going to have seven or eight one-score games. We've got to make great decisions as coaches and as players at the end of the game. And uh, they made the, the right plays uh, at the right time, and we didn't. So you got to credit them, and I'll open up for any questions. Ben, with the first one. Hey, Coach. Uh, did you strongly consider going for that fourth and 12 before the field goal, and what was kind of the, the thought process and the approach there? Well, if it had been less than fourth and 12, I, I probably would have. But in that situation, I got Parker. He's going to kick the ball. We have three timeouts. We probably shouldn't have taken the timeout on the seven-yard gain or eight-yard gain on the first and ten situation. But we got the ball back with a minute 29 with our offense, and, and I felt very comfortable by, with that. So uh, we, we made a, a situation there. So we had an opportunity to win the game with 129. We didn't get an opportunity because of the, because of the, uh, the situation on the punt return. Colin Taylor. Yeah, well, I guess what did you see on that punt return? Have you had a chance to talk to, to Jamie or Cam yet? No, I thought it was, it was communicated. It's hard when it's in a rugby situation, which it was. That ball bounces around, and uh, and it, and it just it's it's an unfortunate bounce for us. And we got to get it communicated better. We got to coach it better. Uh, it's something we have worked on in camp, uh, but but obviously not enough. So we'll we'll go back and look at it. Back to Ben. Uh, what's the status of uh, Israel Mukwamu? It seemed like he was out kind of for the end of that game there. Yeah, he had a groin and, and just didn't – we didn't feel you know comfortable putting him back in the game. And then uh, Sherrod Green had a, a hip. It's, we, we've done all the x-rays. He's fine. It's just more of a muscular thing. But those are the only two injuries from the game. Ben again. Uh, what did you see kind of happening with your offensive line? It seemed like it, at times you guys had some trouble on the edges. Well, they, we got in some bad down and distance situations on third down in the se in the second quarter, especially when we were backed up. And I think that was where three of the sacks came from of the four. Uh, but but I felt like more than anything, it was just some negative, uh, you know, down and distance situations. We'd gotten behind the change and we were backed up. Josh. What did you think of Colin Hill's performance today? I'm sorry? What did you think of Colin Hill today? I thought he played well. I mean, he had a, a couple of drops, in my opinion. You know, the the interception. I don't know. I mean, uh, unfortunate bounce right there. Uh, you know, had, had a there late to get a first down um, on the last drive where we kicked the field goal. Uh, we, we, you know, I thought he put the ball in some places. He got to be better security in the pocket uh, on scrambling that one time before half. We were fortunate to get the ball back there. Uh, but you know, I, again, I thought that he was accurate with the football. Got us in and out of the right. Um, you know, run game and protection for the most part. Uh, but, but I thought he did a nice job. Joe Gorchow. Joe, I think you're on mute. Joe, I can't hear you. Nothing. I got nothing, Joe. Let's go to Phil Cornblut. Yeah, uh, 
about, hey, Will, on that third down play before the last field goal, I think Shy was was off the field over there next to you. I, I think maybe he had a little gust up on the field. Was was he out because of that, or was that just the, the result of the play being called? No, he was gassed as much as anything, and and uh, and so we 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 had subbed him for because of the play that we had had called in that situation, and, and felt good about the call. John Whittle. Yeah, with Israel out, what what did you see from from the backups there? How much did Israel being out in, influence the game? Well, again, we you know obviously everybody will point to one deep ball, but but uh, you know we got to go back and watch the tape, and, and we'll figure out what we need to do because we continue to move forward uh, with those guys and, and and get our best combination out there. Uh, but uh, again, I, I, you know, Cam's had a really good training camp. He's played really well. They've got some really talented receivers and experienced quarterback. They made a nice throw and catch, and and uh, you know there's some things obviously when as we watch the tape, we'll, we'll coach the fundamentals of what we need to do better in that situation. Let's try Joe again. Can you hear me now, Coach? Or, or no? Yes. All right, yeah. there we go. Coach, um, I know the loss stings tonight, but is there some positives to take away when you look at Hill and Shy Smith really developing a nice rapport out there on the field tonight? Well, I thought those guys played well, and really offensively in the second half, they gave us an opportunity to win the game. And uh, we need to play better on the defensive side of the ball. And uh, But, I, I, yeah, I mean, I thought that uh, they, they played the way we expected them to play. Colin. Yeah, well, I think there was a point where Shy guy came out and he was ruled short of the first down, and you guys took a while to to make a decision on that. What was the thought process there? Was there any conversations about going for it on fourth and I think one? We did. It was fourth and one. Um, I, I we were unsure of the spot, and we were trying to get confirmation from the box from our people uh, about where if they would review it. And that's what it took a long time. We couldn't get a good look at the replay in our box to find out exactly uh, if they were going to review it or not. Mike and I had some discussions about going for it. Uh, but in that sense, that's when we punted, got a stop, and went, went back down and tied the ball game. So, um, But that was the only issue. I was hoping that they were going to review the play uh, and, and see where they were. We couldn't get a good look on the sideline because it was coming to the sideline about where we were. And the box had a hard time to seeing where the ball was going to be spotted. So that was a – uh, we wanted to, to see if the replay would go back and look at it. Obviously, it was very short. It was it was a yard, maybe even more. Ben? Uh, on some of those explosives that they kind of hit on you, is it schematic stuff that they were doing or just one-on-one -on -one technique kind of stuff where they just sort of won, won the one-on-ones? Well, the, the touchdown pass was a one-on-one -on -one situation. When we are in bump and run, they, the, the, the throwback was a, a nice call on their part based on the defense that we were in. Uh, the third and one play against Jamie Robinson in the first half. Jamie had great coverage. It was a great throw and catch. They give their guy credit, but he made a one-handed catch on their sideline. Um, on the on the, the dump down to, to Gray, uh, our flat defender rushed on the flea flicker, should have stayed in the flat. If he stays in the flat, it's a no throw or a sack. Um, so, just when again, when you – these games are all going to be very close as we always play conference games and you, you, they're going to come down to, you know, two and three plays and decisions there late in the game. You got to, you got to come out on top of those plays. Uh, we, I think we're 14 and seven now, 14 and eight and one score games here at South Carolina. We got to be better than that. Josh. We can't hear you, Josh. Sorry, did you think your uh, problems running the ball were more on the backs or the offensive line, or is it you're able to tell without no, looking I, at the tape? I would like to watch the tape first. I heard some discussion on the headsets between Coach Wolford and Coach Bobo uh, and Coach Kitchens, but I'd, I'd rather watch the tape first and, and, and discover, you know, what exactly we felt the problems were. Dick Cox. Dick, we can't hear you. Can't hear you, Dick. Let's go to Colin. Well, I think you only had two receivers catch passes tonight. Was that just something where in the offense they, they the other guys weren't open, or are you concerned at all about the depth you guys have at that position right now? I, th I think that's kind of the flow of the game. I mean, obviously, Shy had a hot hand, and, and we had some things designed to go to him. Uh, Xavier, you made some, a couple of really nice plays, and obviously the 42-yarder there. Uh, Nick's been a guy that's been a threat over the middle. We, we've liked throwing the ball to our backs in camp. You know, they uh, Deshaun and Kevin 
and uh, and uh, Zaquan Draval caught the ball well out of the backfield. Uh, and, and, you know, DeCaron's done a nice job. We had, we, a bunch of guys played. I just don't know that, you know, we've got the, the balls to them. Sometimes the primary read's going somewhere else at this time. But uh, I think those guys can all help us. You said me? Ben, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Um, it, it seemed like they were really dialed in onto your screen game, and that kind of knocked you guys off schedule three, four, five times. <laughs> What were they kind of doing and, and what were they kind of keying on on those plays? Well, we missed two blocks on the perimeter. We should have had big plays on both of them. And then we had one tip ball. So so on the three screens, I think, I believe two were wow. our sideline. One was a tip ball. One, our tackle fan, the, the corner. And uh, and the other, uh, we, we, we missed blocked it inside from inside out with their linebacker. So I felt like we could have gotten a hat on a hat. We would have been a little better off. And we had the one tip ball. We, had, we could have had a play. John Whittle. And Nick Muse seemed to be a, a huge focal point of the game plan today. Hardly came off the field, made some big plays for you. Uh, what, but what did you say to him after that second and second and twelve drop down there, just outside the red zone? Well, it's, you know, again, John, it's when you when you're going to be in these tight ball games, that's it comes down to you know those three, four, five plays in the game where you got opportunity to, to get a first down, uh, to to move the chains, to get closer in the red zone. Uh, we we just got it. We got to come up. And make a little better throw, a little better catch in those situations, and that's 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 what we'll coach from. Uh, you know, that's what we got to do. Yeah, obviously you haven't looked at the film yet, but with just on the surface, do you, you you feel like you got out of your tight ends what you expected going into this from a game plan standpoint? Well, I mean, we again, Nick's been very productive in training camp. Kevion's been a guy that we've been excited about. Will Register's given us some 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 good things. Keyshawn Tony. I mean, so they're going. We're going to continue to be a team. That, uh, that uses the tight end. Uh, we think that's important in the run game protections and obviously also in the throwing game, as you saw tonight. So we'll, we'll continue to uh, have those guys be a part of what we need to do to be successful. Last question for coach goes to Colin Taylor. Yeah, well, you talked a lot in camp about the offense being more explosive than in years past. Do you feel like you guys had that tonight? Or if, and if you didn't, just kind of what was hindering that? Well, I think in the second half we certainly did. I think that we made some explosive plays and and uh, and we we had, we left some on the field. You know, call you know we had the the same route they hit us on. Uh, we we had Chow wide open. There wasn't nobody thirty yards from. We just couldn't get it off because of some push inside. So I thought in the second half we did have some explosives. We need to you know create try to create some more explosives in the run game. Um, but you know again you know Kevin had a nice thirteen yard run. Deshaun had a nice. Uh, but it's 12 or 13 yard run on our sideline. Um, <clears throat> so get, continue to, to get better in the run game. Uh, and, and again, I think in the second half, I mean, excuse me, the second quarter, we, we got behind the chains a little bit there on first and 10. And, I, and also field position had, we had two drives inside the five yard line, which is difficult, um, you know, down there. But, but again, I thought we, you know, we made some explosives. I don't know off the top of my hand how many. I think a couple in the run game and probably six or seven in the passing game. You look at about ten or twelve explosives in a game. That's that's pretty good. So we got to continue to 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 get better in those in that regard. Uh, be better with the football. You know we can't can't allow a, a an interception for a touchdown. Those are killers in, in in tight ball games like we're in today. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.